Good morning, 9th standard. We are doing exercise 13.6 from your NCRT book. It's chapter number 13, surface areas and volumes. Exercise 13.6 is based on the volume of a cylinder. We have already done few questions. Let us do the remaining ones. Question number 5. We have, it costs 2200 rupees to paint the entire inner curved surface of a cylindrical vessel which is 10 meters deep total cost of painting is given and depth of the vessel is given if the cost of painting is at the rate of 20 rupees per meter square find you have to find three things you have to first of all find out the inner curved surface area the inner curved surface area is the area for which cost of painting is this and the cost of painting per meter square is this this is total cost this is cost of painting one meter square you have to find out the inner curved surface area means you have to find out the area painted then you have to find out the radius of the base then you have to find out the capacity of the vessel capacity of the vessel means you have to find out the volume of the vessel let's write down we have total cost of painting as 2200 rupees and cost of painting 1 meter square as 20 rupees from here we can find out the area painted area painted will be given by total cost over cost per unit so this will be 2200 by 20 this will be 110 meter square because the units of area are mentioned as meter square since this is the area painted therefore the curved surface area comes out to be 110 meter square this is the answer for the first part now using the curved surface area we will solve for the second answer in second part we need to find out the radius of the base now for that I'm using the formula for the curved surface area of a cylindrical vessel it's 2 pi r h curved surface area of a cylindrical vessel this is equal to 110 now I have been given that depth of the vessel is 10 meters so that means height is 10 meters this is given to me I'll be using this value here using the values provided to me and simplifying this equation transpose all values to right hand side except for r solving i've got a 10 also so r comes out to be 7 by 4 meters this is the answer for the second part in the third part you have to find out the volume of the vessel capacity of the vessel so for the capacity of vessel the formula is pi r square h r square means 7 by 4 squared so 7 by 4 into 7 by 4 into the height height is 10 simplifying these get cancelled so I've got 11 into 35 by 4 this is 385 by 4 meter cube if you want you can convert it into a decimal number and give your answer the answer after conversion comes out to be 9.5 25 meter cube and we know 1 meter cube is equal to 1000 liters now 1000 actually means 1 kilo so 1 meter cube is actually 1 kiloliter 1 kilo is a natural number to represent 1000 so this can also be written as 96.25 kiloliters now we will do question number sixth let's take a look at the question 
क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स थे दी कपैसिटी ऑफ अ क्लोज सिलेंड्रिकल वेसल ऑफ हाइट वन मीटर्स इज फिफ्टीन पॉइंट फोर लीटर्स हाइट इज वन मीटर्स कपैसिटी इज फिफ्टीन पॉइंट फोर लीटर्स सो दिस इज दी वॉल्यूम हाउ मैनी स्क्वेयर मीटर्स ऑफ मेटल शीट वुड बी नीडेड टू मेक इट नाउ द मेटल शीट नीडेड टू मेक अ क्लोज सिलेंड्रिकल वेसल दिस इज गिवन बाई द सरफेस एरिया since the vessel is closed we need to find out total surface area the formula for total surface area of a cylindrical vessel is 2 pi r into h plus r but we do not have r we just have height and we have the volume so using the height and the volume first of all we will find out the radius and then using the radius and height we shall find out how much metal sheet is needed to make the closed cylindrical vessel and this will be given by the total surface area of closed cylindrical vessel and also keeping in mind that they are asking us to find the answer in square meters we want to work in meters not in liters so we will be converting the volume from liters to meter cube we have volume equals to 15.4 liters let's convert 1 meter cube is equal to 1000 liters i'm converting liters to meter cube so i'll need to divide dividing by 1000 this becomes meter cube if you want you can write it as a decimal i'm converting it into a fraction removing the point i'll get 10 in the denominator so this is what the volume becomes i also know that the volume is given by pi r square h so this pi r square h its value is 154 divided by 10000 now let us use the value of h which is given given that the height of the vessel is 1 meters so let's use this value here 22 by 7 multiplied by r square multiplied by 1 equals to 154 over 10000 so r square comes out to be 154 over 10000 into transposing 22 by 7 to right hand side so r square comes out to be 49 by 10000 let's solve the square we will have to take square root on right hand side square root of 49 over 10000 this comes out to be 7 over 100 so the radius comes out to be 7 over 100 meters hence or finally what we need to find out is sheet needed to make the closed vessel closed vessel is cylinder cylindrical in shape so this will be 2 pi r into h plus r we have been given h r we have calculated ourselves so now just substitute 2 multiplied by 22 by 7 multiplied by the radius which is 7 over 100 in the brackets height is 1 plus 7 over 100 so 7 and 7 cancelled 44 over 100 into taking lcm and simpl simplifying this is what i get now multiplying this comes out to be 4708 over 10000 so this is 0.4708 meter square this is the answer for the sixth part sixth question the next question that we are going to do is question number 7th but before we do question number 7th we are going to write down a note in exercise 13.2 question number 3 if you can recall we learned how to find out the total surface area for a hollow cylinder it's on page number 216 question number 3 of 13.2 so referring to question number 3 of exercise 13.2 
so we are actually talking about a hollow cylinder i gave the example of a cello tape pack so if you have a cylinder inside which there is another cylinder for this we learnt that the total surface area is given by 2 pi r h where h is the height of the cylinder capital R is the outer radius from the center to the outer circle and this is the outer curved surface area plus 2 pi r h this is small r radius of the smaller circle plus 2 pi r square minus r square and this is the area of the two rings now we are going to learn how we will find out the volume of such a cylinder if we have to find out the volume of a regular cylinder the formula that we use is pi r square h for a hollow cylinder since this inner cylinder is empty it's like from the bigger cylinder a small cylinder has been removed so if we had to find out the volume of this big cylinder the volume of the bigger cylinder would be pi r square h using capital R volume of bigger or outer cylinder this will be pi r square h from this bigger cylinder a smaller cylinder has been removed so volume of inner or smaller cylinder for this we shall be using small r from this volume this has been removed therefore the volume of hollow cylinder is given by the volume of outer cylinder minus the volume of inner cylinder this means pi r square minus r square into h these two are the common factors before you do question number 7th and question number 8th you will need to know this because this is the formula that you will need to use in question number 7th and uh, question number 2nd now let us take a look at question number 7th a lead pencil consists of a cylinder of wood with a solid cylinder of graphite filled in its interior the diameter of the pencil is 7 millimeters and the diameter of the graphite is 1 millimeters the length of the pencil is 14 centimeters find the volume of the wood and that of the graphite and now they have described that we have wood in the form of a cylinder and the graphite is also in the form of a cylinder we have to apply the formula for volume of a cylinder but the graphite cylinder is a solid cylinder the wooden cylinder is a hollow cylinder let's draw a rough diagram and see what we have So in question number 7 we have a pencil this is a rough sketch to represent a pencil and we are assuming that the pencil is cylindrical in shape the length of the pencil is given as 14 centimeters this will be the height how long the pencil is now you can see there are two cylinders the this is the wooden part the one which you can see outside and in here this is the graphite the lead which you used to write this is the graphite cylinder and this is completely solid 
and this one here the one you can see out on the outer side like the cello tape this will be wooden cylinder and this is hollow hollow means empty from the inside and this empty part has been filled by this graphite cylinder now what they have given they have described the diameters for the pencil and the graphite so diameter of the pencil means this measurement across total width and they have given the diameter for this graphite part so the outer diameter will be represented by capital D this is 7 millimeters and the inner diameter represented by small d has been given by 1 millimeters now you can see there is a difference of units we will have to convert these as well before we actually write the answer let's write down whatever is given to us we've been given the outer diameter outer diameter means diameter of pencil this is represented by capital D this will be 7 mm therefore the outer radius capital R we are using capitals for the outer dimensions this will be given by 7 by 2 millimeters this is the radius of pencil then we have been given the inner diameter inner diameter means diameter of graphite this will be represented by small d this is one millimeters therefore the inner radius this will be the radius of graphite small r this will be 1 by 2 millimeters and then we have been we've been given length of pencil as 14 centimeters therefore the height is 14 centimeter I'm converting centimeters to millimeters this will be 140 millimeters now I will solve my answer let us find the answer first of all I need to find out the volume of wood now wood is a hollow cylinder the formula for the hollow cylinder we have written in the form of a note this is given by pi r square minus r square capital R square minus small r square into the height let's use the values pi is 22 by 7 outer radius is 7 by 2 the inner radius is 1 by 2 into the height is 140 again I'm using identity here a square minus b square it is given by a plus b into a minus b simplifying this becomes 8 by 2 into 6 by 2 into 140 these get cancelled these two get cancelled I am left with the product of these three numbers and this comes out to be 5280 millimeter cube in the second part I have to find out the volume of graphite since graphite is the inner cylinder inner solid cylinder the formula will be the same as we have used in other questions pi r square h so this will be pi r square h but since it's the inner cylinder I'll be using small r putting the values and simplifying small r is 1 by 2 height is 140 these get cancelled so this comes out to be 110 millimeter cube let's take a look at question number 
2 now the inner diameter of a cylindrical wooden pipe is 24 centimeters outer diameter is 28 centimeters the length of the pipe is given you have to find out the mass of the pipe if 1 centimeter cube of wood has a mass of 0 0.6 grams now the mass of any solid thing is given by volume into its density the density of wood is given here 0 0.6 grams per centimeter cube you have to find out the mass so we need the volume first of all we will find out the volume of the wood used to make the pipe now this is just like the previous question where we had a hollow cylinder the pencil pencil was a hollow cylinder made up of wood whose inside was filled with graphite so the way we found the volume of wood used in the pencil same way we will find out the volume of wood used in this pipe then we will find out the mass of the pipe let's solve question number two pipe is in the shape of a hollow cylinder now this is important because for hollow cylinder the volume is pi into capital R square minus small r square into h if you want you can mention this therefore volume of wood used will be given by pi capital R square minus small r square into h now I have not written the values before and so I am writing on this side I have been given the outer diameter as 28 and inner diameter as 24 so capital D is given to me as 28 centimeters this means capital R will be 28 by 2 which is 14 centimeters and also I have been given the inner diameter which is 24 centimeter this means R will be 24 by 2 it is 12 centimeters along with this I have been given the height which is 35 centimeters using these values I will find out the volume of the wood used let's solve the answer pi is 22 by 7 using the values of capital R and small r 14 square minus 12 square multiplied by the height again I'll be using identity a square minus b square is given by a plus b into a minus b to avoid calculating the squares simplify Twenty six multiplied by two into thirty five, so this is five. Simplifying, this comes out to be five thousand seven hundred twenty milli centimeter cube. Five thousand seven hundred twenty centimeter cube. Now using this, I will find out the mass of the wooden pipe now mass is given by volume into density so density is given as one centimeter cube of wood has mass 0 0.6 grams so this is how the density is described this could be written as 0 0.6 grams per centimeter cube sometimes it is given this way volume we have calculated now we shall find out the mass so mass of wood will be equal to the volume of wood used multiplied by 0 0.6 grams you could also write that mass of 1 centimeter cube is 0 0.6 grams so mass of the wood will be equal to the volume of wood used into 0 0.6 grams and this we have calculated as 5720 centimeter cube into 0 0.6 grams this will be in grams simplifying this comes out to be 34328 grams if you want you can convert it into kilograms 
divided by 1000 and this will become 34.328 kilograms and this completes your exercise 13.6